Think for yourself. Question authority. What's up guys, welcome back. So let's get right down to business because there is some very obvious misinformed reporting going on about this Sharp IGZO technology. So we'll clarify what that likely really means and also it appears so far at least that my speculation that the Switch revision was just a better binned high yield chip may have been correct. Spinewave did a teardown and discovered no die shrink just a very tiny adjusted binning of the nodes on the Tegra X1 chip module it's surrounding the SOC itself and to go along with that it appears the RAM is still LPDDR4 based on the last four digits of the RAM model number matching only what Samsung uses for LPDDR4 RAM chips on their official website. It was speculated by Digital Foundry and the data miners that the Switch Revision would be using a shrink on the Tegra X1 chip to something smaller and LPDDR4X but so far that doesn't appear to be the case and it still seems like it's the same 20 nanometer Tegra X1 processor and LPDDR4 but it's possible since this LPDDR4 is an unknown RAM part besides its last four digits on the model number Samsung may have used a 10 nanometer RAM size for the LPDDR4 chip to get the same energy savings of an LPDDR4X chip without having to worry about compatibility issues since as we discussed in the other video, according to NVIDIA's official documentation, the Tegra X1 isn't compatible with LPDDR4X memory, only the Tegra Xavier is. So basically, so far so good on what I was explaining to you guys in the last few videos. Now, the big news here is the Wall Street Journal is back <laughs> and has reported through official channels by the executive vice president of Sharp himself that Sharp will be supplying its flagship best in class IGZO display panels to Nintendo's new video game machines. No console, by the way, was named, mind you, just Nintendo's new video game machines. However, it should be noted that the iPad Pro since 2015 has used IGZO display technology. And as you know with Apple products, they look amazing. They almost always have the best and most amazing looking screens on their tablets. And the Wall Street Journal reported that Sharp would start providing LCD screens for new Switch hardware back in March of 2019. But the type of LCD wasn't discussed at that time and Sharp had no comment back then. However, that has now changed and Sharp's most advanced LCD screen they make is reportedly in the works for a new Nintendo piece of hardware. Obviously, from the looks of it, it's an enhanced Nintendo Switch, right? Now, let's learn exactly more about what the IGZO technology can do. Take a look at this video. IGZO is a compound semiconductor that Sharp is the first to successfully mass produce. IGZO has electron mobility 20 to 50 times faster than that of amorphous silicon, further miniaturizing the transistor. IGZO achieves about twice the resolution of conventional LCDs. Also, when displaying still images, it achieves power savings of up to 80 or 90 percent. Even after switching the power off, it can continue to display the image on the screen. That is IGZO's greatest strength. To begin with, Sharp is realizing IGZO displays. More natural and with greater presence. Easier to use and delivering more information intuitive in its controls. All of this at surprisingly low power. IGZO from Sharp is the key to the future of next generation organic LED displays. IGZO Transparent technologies lead the way to the future. Sharp so, interestingly enough, some sites are reporting it seemingly correctly that Nintendo has an upgraded Switch on the way with one of the best LCD screens on the market. And Sharp is also using this tech in AKTVs, mind you, so it's no joke. It's really, really good. However, on the other hand, you have other websites reporting this information 
and they are saying that these screens are just for the new Nintendo Switch revision and the Nintendo Switch Lite. However, you should be able to see for yourself right there to be able to tell right away after watching that video that this isn't the case, really. Igzo is one of the most, if not the most, expensive state-of-the-art LCD technologies on the market. And in comparison to standard LCD displays, as they showed in the video, it's a big difference in not just pixels, but the color depth, the overall deep, rich quality of the picture, how thin the actual screen can be, and how lightweight as well. This would be a major upgrade for the Switch if the more powerful model uses it, which is what is seeming to be the case here from this report. Also, from all the side-by-side -side comparisons of the Switch Revision that we've already seen, it appears to be the exact same plastic LCD screen it's always had. And also, according to Nintendo's own website, both the Switch and Switch Lite use a capacitive 720p LCD screen. So, nothing really special to see there. But, getting back to the Wall Street Journal article, Nintendo also declined to comment about this report of the new screens further giving backing that this is referring to a new Switch console, since remember, the Switch Revision is already released on the market right now, and Switch Lite has already been announced and ready for pre-order. So it seems very likely Nintendo isn't wanting to comment yet on this because it's for a new console, right? The Wall Street Journal article also mentioned the Revision and Switch Lite, but said that Sharp also themselves didn't comment on what Switch model they would use the new EXO displays for. I think this is where people assumed that they were talking about the Switch Revision or Lite models since the article used the term which models. But remember, the Wall Street Journal just mentioned earlier in the article the term Nintendo's new video game machines, plural. So that could very well mean the next new wave of machines released by Nintendo from here on out could be using this technology from Sharp. And then after mentioning the Switch Revision and Switch Lite, they said that people familiar with Nintendo's product planning say Nintendo has ideas for more Switch hardware updates, meaning that more Switch consoles are coming to make the platform's life cycle long. So the main thing I think we can take away from this is that the cutting edge technology EXO screen can not only do way more things than what the Switch screen currently can do, but it is also a premium, high-cost screen used in the best tablet screens on the market, such as the iPad Pro and MacBook, like we talked about before. So, this is pretty exciting stuff. So the next question is, when can we expect this to come out in regards to this hardware that uses this new screen? Well, this is where it gets very interesting, because remember, the Wall Street Journal said in March 2019 that Sharp is going to start providing LCD screens to Switch hardware this year, meaning 2019. And on top of that, this report is coming from Muchizuki, and he's using the executive vice president of Sharp's own words to say this. So you might be asking, well, where is the quote from the VP coming from? Well, you may not be aware of this, but Sharp just had their fiscal year 2020 quarter one earnings call on August 1st, 2019, right around the same time as everyone else did, Sony and Nintendo even. However, their Q&A sessions are done in private. So what is extremely likely to be the case is that Muchizuki, the tech journalist from the Wall Street Journal, attended this earning call on August 1st and asked the executive vice president of Sharp himself about this and got the answer from there. And since the earnings call was just six days ago, like we said, they usually only talk about the current fiscal year in those meetings. So the question of when Nintendo is going to introduce an enhanced new Switch model with this awesome new screen could be as soon as 2019 all the way up to the end of the fiscal year 2020, which would be March 31st of that year. Now I know for some reason there are some people out there that are convinced beyond all odds that Nintendo has no chance of announcing any more hardware in 2019, but taking all this information into consideration, I wouldn't dismiss the possibility of them doing so, to be honest with you. Remember that for me on this channel, my narrative since I started reporting on the Enhanced Switch in mid-2018 hasn't changed. I've always said 2019 could be when they announce this upgrade or early 2020 to get it released before the PS5 and Xbox Scarlet come out. And also in the same article, the Wall Street Journal just said that Nintendo wants to prolong the Switch platform life cycle. And that of course would be how you do it, right? Simply make it more powerful to keep it relevant. None of this stuff would be getting reported if Nintendo thought PS5 and Xbox Scarlet weren't threats to their bottom line. Obviously, they know 
they would command market share in 2020 as brand new consoles with the Switch looking pretty old by that time since in its current form it has a hard time even right now running most PS4 ports as it is. So as I said before guys, you won't be seeing me flip flopping back and forth if this console is happening or not. I've been reporting exactly the same information over the past year. It started with me basically in July 2018, Even I think even before that, even in May, I was, I was talking about the possibility of this happening in 2019 or early 2020. And as we move closer to the reveal of this console, clearer and clearer things have gotten, as you've seen for yourself if you've been following me. And for those who think they know absolutely everything about Nintendo's plans and think nothing is happening, well, hey, we've all been wrong in the past. So what I'm doing here is just reporting clearly what is right in front of my eyes. It looks like Nintendo could in fact be announcing an enhanced Switch, possibly between the end of September 2019 through early March 2020, within that six month window. Since Sharp seems to be making these for Nintendo as we speak, so a hardware reveal is in fact possible and could be happening sooner than you think. All right guys, fun stuff, right? So let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Have a great day.